So then, well, it's going to get better. Are you talking about the one we're doing or the one we're talking about? Uh, either way. Either way, it's going to get better because up next was the the king of personality, the uh, the artist of inflection, Officer Bar Brady interviewed Mercedes Moan. Oh, boy. You know, this time you can call her that because she ended up moaning in the segment. Exactly. And I thought, this has to be a rib because why would you put him with her? The, pe the two people in the company with the least emotion and life and realism in their voices that are just reciting shit from memory. And Mercedes recited her scripted verbiage that I have to assume was written especially for her by Alexandra Pepperday. She's got her own writer, right? We forgot about that. So apparently her own writer has been writing all the shit she ain't been saying. I had girls in OVW that had never been on TV before that did better promos than this. So she finally kind of beat around a bush and told us that Willow not only beat her and injured her in some fashion, but it was in a non-interesting way. And then, folks, they're sitting there in a room doing a sit-down pre-tape, and the lights go out on a pre-tape. <laughs> and then you hear sound effects in the dark, like, oh, boo, oh, oh, don't hurt, oh, 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 oh. And the lights come back on, and there's nobody there except there's Mercedes Moan laying on the ground moaning. Oh, oh. What the... Somebody got in and out of the fucking room, a concrete block room that they were in with a giant fucking excuse for an announcer sitting next to this woman that got assaulted in the dark and he was who the fuck could have done this we didn't see anybody we're gonna find out it was marvez uh no you heard what they said about marvez right no I, well fucking marvez came in a locker room one time he'd had a hot date and he said boy i tell you that girl last night she told me to Give her 12 inches and make it hurt. So I fucked her three times and punched her in the nose. <laughs> well, again, I don't know if that joke anyway. is appropriate here, but we have to say this. Early stages, of course, but this Mercedes Monet signing does not seem like a positive for AEW. <laughs> she has been exposed in a lot of ways. Again, it's early days, but it seems she's been exposed out of WWE. She can't talk. Everything has to be scripted and she's acting, but she can't talk. Or act, apparently, from this or segment. Act. Not even going to get into the idea that apparently the House of Black can just turn out the lights anywhere there are. Anywhere they are. I can't speak either. Anyway, anywhere, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I can end this. Anywhere. Any, anyway, now you can get to a point. I'm going to get to a point. I'm going to get to two I points. Love. But she's uh, been pretty awful and done nothing to help them in the ratings and secondly and i'll let you follow up on that uh shapoopy was in the music man which i've never seen so I'm there you, you've never seen the music man it's not really my style it was sung by buddy hackett oh come on yeah there you go but you've never seen the music man at all you don't know about all the trouble it's coming to river city they're playing pool down there at that pool hall the billiard parlor P. Pool with a P, and that rhymes with T, and that stands for trouble. All that type of stuff. You got to watch the music, man. Now people are going to be sending you the music, man, on DVD. So Mercedes Monet, she's done some acting. She was a big star in WWE, obviously had a big fan base, although hasn't really shown anything in AEW in terms of moving that fan base over here under a different name. They're over here now. This segment was horrible. Well, and that's, you know, they, the big name girls in the business get a certain level of the, you know, male fans that put their picture up as their Twitter picture and profile and, you know, at Mercedes fan for life or whatever. And it, they don't even have to sometimes be the top main event girls. They're sometimes it's just a, the girl that that particular guy likes. 
And those are subsets of the fans, and they will follow a girl that from company to company because they like that girl. But apparently, as we've seen, that's not a big number, at least in Mercedes's case here. She left the WWE and did a number in, you know, for New Japan, but let's face it, any increase for New Japan from what they were doing in the in America would be viewed as a positive. But now that she's on national TV on a national cable network in prime time in America and expected to be a big deal. I don't know why anybody thought she was going to be. If any, I was open to it because I'd never paid attention to any of the shit she'd done before to remember it if I have, but I was like, okay, I'll be open to it. But apparently other people remember what she's done before and still thought she was going to be good at this. And a, uh, uh, you know, it's part of being in the the big company where they're not going to let you do stupid shit. Well, Vince would have everybody do stupid shit, but they're not going to let their talent in the WWE do stupid shit that makes them look goofy on their television unless they tell them to do it. Yeah. Yeah.